Oh, hello guys. Today I'm with a very lovely uh, lady right here. She has a sweet face, but she also has prominent uh, nasolabial folds on both sides of the face. I believe you have done some fillers before at the upper cheek area. What normally most uh, aesthetic doctors would do is they would use a filler, for example, like a Javidum bowl leaf, and use this to fill in the nasolabial fold. But there's another paradigm of thought, whereby if we lift the cheek area, we actually can efface the fold as I've simulated right here. Okay, so we do it again. One way is to actually inject the filler directly in the nasolabial fold, which is what most conventional doctors would do. And another strategy would be to either use threads or fillers to lift the cheek in this direction to efface the fold, as I'm simulating here. But the king of it all is still the traditional facelift, whereby we tighten the layer underlying the skin, which is called the SMS or superficial muscular aponeurotic system, like this. And here you see the effacement completely of the nasal -lateral fold. As we age, our cheeks actually descend middle to the, to, to the middle, or medially as we call it uh, in medicine, and we get this appearance. So by restoring the structural uh, support in the 45 degree vector, we restore the youth in the patient. And then we can begin to perform our fat grafting of fillers for better effect. Thank you.